guys, my name is Rapna, I am from Iceland and I am here to help you have the best and most delicious night of your life. Traveling to Iceland and looking up restaurants and fun things to do can be difficult, so I am here as a local to help you guys. In this video, I took some of my friends to my absolute favorite places to be, to have a great night out in Reykjavik. And the first place that I took you guys with me to is Tres Locos. I was so happy that they contacted me and wanted to work with me because I had previously been to Tres Logos and oh my goodness probably one of my or if not my favorite restaurant is new and exciting and it's Mexican and something that uh, I'm just not used to seeing in Iceland so I really appreciate that I went to Tres Logos with my bestie Sammy at Tres Logos I tasted the Icelandic menu called Icelandic Fiesta which is exactly what you think it is it's like a Mexican food with Icelandic theme because we had a lot of fish and we have some margaritas which were delicious <laughs> I usually don't go for margaritas, but I was so happy to taste them. Tres Locos is a very fun place. It's a fun restaurant. It's obviously Mexican themed. It's very bright and colorful. It's awesome to take pictures in there. The walls are like super decorated and it's just, it's a vibe. Tres Locos has amazing food. They have tacos, tostada, tost tostadas tacos, to tostadas, fajitas, quesadillas, and a lot of yummy Mexican food. They obviously have delicious margaritas and um, southern cocktails. Oh, they were so good and looked so cool. Mm. For those of you who are interested, I did do a story of all of this on my Instagram. It is on my highlights. I'm hungry looking at this. In the Icelandic fiesta, we started out with halibut ceviche, which was dish number one. It was delicious. <laughs> The next dishes that we got were tostadas. We got lamb tostadas and arctic char tostadas. Yeah. Go for it. Ooh. Mm. Yummy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next up, uh, tostilla. Tostadas. Tostada. Tostada. We did take Spanish in college. <laughs> Yes. We were See. very good. Nubian. Nubian. That's good. The new dog. Okay, what? Come on, mate. I'm trying to bite. Okay. Good. Then for dish number four, we got my favorite. Oh my god, it was so good. We got the Icelandic cod taco. It was like a deep fried cod in a taco. Oh, it was my favorite. It was Sammy's favorite. You have to get that one. Start with the lamb. Yeah, Yeah, I love everything deep fried. Yes. I think this is my favorite so yeah. far. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the next dish on the menu was Icelandic lamb. Lamb rump. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. So delicious. So good. I love lamb. Icelandic lamb is on another level. <laughs> I love Icelandic. The dessert, it looked 
so cool it looked like corn it was cake i promise it looks like corn but ah it was so 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 freaking cute so good and the ice cream oh my god i don't know how many times i'm gonna say oh my god in this video but the ice cream oh it was so good i wish i could buy a huge tub of this ice cream it was delicious oh, looks so good Desserts are favorite. Yes. yes. Okay. It's cake. Oh. And um, passion fruit ice cream. Mm. In the same. Mm. 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 Yeah. Doing a night out, it's so important to feel just like the good vibes, the good music, the fun atmosphere. And that's definitely something that Tres Logos is good at. So thank you so much, Tres Logos, for inviting me. I will be coming back. The next restaurant is a restaurant that I went to in my previous video, but this time I went again to try out something completely new. Tapas Barin, or the Tapas Bar in English, is not a new restaurant it's one of the oldest restaurants in Iceland so it's like a very it's a solid restaurant with a lot of heart uh, the locals love it I love it I've been there many many times it has a very very special place in my heart I went to tapas button with my friend Magna we got a lot of like crazy dishes that we had never experienced before I definitely have a new favorite on the menu which you will see in a minute we started out by getting sangrias I love the passion fruit sangria passion fruit passion fruit sangria and then um, regular the classic the classic okay, I want to start with the passion fruit yes Again, the atmosphere, the music, the vibes is top notch. We started out with marinated Icelandic lamb with licorice sauce. It was so good. You have to get this dish if you go to tapas but it like not getting it is not an option you have to get it i'm gonna show you the lamp next thing that we got was the icelandic foal Oh, it was so good. Uh, we got the Icelandic foal with chorizo sauce and truffle mashed potatoes. I got so nostalgic getting mashed potatoes. It was so nice. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Where was I? Yes, mashed potatoes, nostalgia. Yes, very good. <laughs> oh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> The next thing that we got was something that I would have never ever ever picked out for myself. It was slow cooked Icelandic cod or salt fish with fried baby potatoes, soft boiled eggs, black olives and parsley, basil, vinegar. Vin... Vinagret... Vin Sorry, I cannot pronounce that. Such a unique combination, but so delicious. The fish and the egg and the potatoes were just so good together. It was the strangest thing. I saw that plate and I was just like, what even is this? And then we tasted it and it was so freaking good. I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting that one. <laughs> It's good. It's a pepper that makes it really good. Amazing. It does come with it. You should try it. Yeah, definitely recommend it. It's one of the classics, I can see. The classics are the lamb, which we tasted, lobster, bacon wrapped scallops, beef, and then we are eating the salt fish. And here are the sangrias. Ooh. We currently have the passion one and the 
Classic, Classic one. one. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> God. Beer is good. Okay. I'll have to give it a taste. Bear in mind, I hate, I hate, hate, hate. Bad money. Oh, best. It's okay. That's better than a hit. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to stick with the passion fruit. Thank you. I'm good with this. I already have some sangria in this. Yeah. Next thing that we got was a very like nice side dish. Very, it's like a vibe. I should probably tell you what we got. Uh, it was basically pickled Icelandic cherry tomatoes. So good. Pickled cherry tomatoes with Icelandic mozzarella, avocado puree, pine nut, and sorrel sauce. Mm. It looks amazing. Okay, we're gonna get some avocado. And the mozzarella. Mm. 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 <laughs> Next thing that we got were some king prawns with a delicious garlic chorizo butter sauce. Oh, the butter sauce, I forgot about that. We were dipping the bread in the butter sauce. Super delicious. I love king prawns. Uh, trigger warning. <laughs> We have eyes on our food. We have uh, prawns, <laughs> which we love. We will not eat the eyes, though. Okay, I'm gonna put a lime on it. Mm -hmm. Give me some lime. Yeah. Oh, lemon. Oh, lemon. Okay, mm, yeah. It's better with uh, yeah. the lime. Lemon. <laughs> lemon. <laughs> yep, yep. yep. It's really good. Um, I also tasted the, I, I think it was a jalapeno or a bell pepper. I am not sure because I thought it was spicy, but it wasn't. Chili challenge. Yeah, habanero. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Good. Good. Nom nom. Nom nom. <laughs> The next thing, yes, I am looking at all of the pictures from my highlight just to experience everything again. We got a kangaroo with chorizo sauce and asparagus. Apparently, Tapas Baren is the only place in Iceland that serves kangaroo. That was a very fun experience. It was not like my favorite thing that we got because obviously the lamp was my favorite thing. It was a very fun dish to try out and if you want to be adventurous I would definitely recommend checking that out. I have no idea you would get kangaroo. Yeah, I <laughs> then when we thought we were done, we were about to roll out of there, we got some desserts. We got surprise desserts. We were not expecting desserts. We are thrilled. We have uh, white chocolate cheesecake, chocolate cake, uh, skid mousse, yeah. and creme brulee. I think I have push With the caramel sauce. Oh my god. So good. Super good. I'm gonna finish this ice cream. Yeah. yeah. I had such a great time at Tapas Baren. Again, the atmosphere, the staff. Oh my god, the staff was so friendly, so nice. The same goes for Tres Logos. Could not recommend more. Now that we are finished with the restaurant, I also went to Tipsy to have a great night out with all of my best friends. Tipsy is a new, very exciting, very luxurious, fun bar lounge. I would highly, highly, highly recommend going to Tipsy 
for like free drinks you could also go to tapas barin or tres lobos and then go to tipsy i got to taste so many delicious cocktails along with my friends <laughs> I was so excited that they wanted to work with me because their cocktails are out of this world. Like they specialize in cocktails. I'm gonna taste Violet mm Hill. -hmm. Oh. Mm. I like sour. It's good. Oh, no. I don't know if you like it. <laughs> I didn't try this one. Okay. Mm. Mm. This is the best one. The tipsy queen. Tipsy queen. Gaul. Gaul. That's good. You're a bit tipsy queen. I had a wood. No. They have this very classy, modern, sleek, elegant atmosphere. Everything is very beautiful in there. Uh, definitely a very good spot to take pictures. I am a sucker for um, cocktails, especially like very sweet cocktails. I am just, I'm a cocktail girl. I don't drink beer. I don't drink red wine. I freaking, freaking love cocktails. <laughs> Magna, favorite drink so far? All of them. <laughs> GK. Okay. Tina, favorite drink so far? Eight gray. Eight gray. Favorite drink so far? Uh, tipsy queen. Favorite drink so far? GK. And now me. <laughs> what is your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Violet Hill and Tipsy Queen. I love them both. Tipsy is a very new and exciting place. It just opened and it's super popular already. The most popular place in Iceland. People are lining up! <laughs> Definitely highly highly recommend Tipsy for a very fun um, night out in Reykjavik. So these are the three places that I would recommend going to for a very very fun night out in Reykjavik. I am so happy that these places reached out to me because these are generally places that I love and have been to previously. I just feel so special for being invited there and for being able to bring my friends along with me. Thank you so much to Tres Lo goes tapas button and tipsy i love recommending places for all of you that are coming to iceland it can be quite intimidating we have so many restaurants we have so many places so many activities i think that it's good to have solid recommendations with you know videos to prove <laughs> just how amazing these places are hopefully i was able to help you guys out if you are searching for a nice way to spend your evening in iceland i really wish you a very very nice trip if you are coming here thank you from the bottom of my heart <laughs> to all of you for watching i will see you very very soon bye